Hello friends, welcome back to School Management System in Laravel. In this video, we can continue homework because it's the last video for homework module. Because we are still not show homework work means a homework module inside a parent side. So whatever uploaded a student like a homework, whatever show inside a student like a homework. So we need to do in this video like a homework module. So let's sort out in a parent side this module after we can done like a homework module and we can start new module about the fees collection because I have lots of requirement there about the fee collection about the students how collect the fees for the students so let's finish this homework module it is a everything I am working as a copy paste work so please carefully watch okay I am not developing anything new just I am passing like one ID like okay this is the ID for student ID this is the ID for like a homework ID not doing anything else so please carefully watch okay so let's go to any parents so just go to parent list and I just click on the parent to at the gmail.com means test.com I just copy this email and I log out and I log in this parents now one two three four five six okay we can create a here new menu inside a my student so you can see it like my student inside we need to create a new menu like a homework once you click on the homework so we need to show for this student what is the homework there after we can create a like a like a submitted homeworks and one is a like a homeworks okay i think we need to create a new videos about the report so this is the report is still not done in like admin side so we need a reports but this is the like a new menu about the homework so let's finish here first so just go to like uh, resources inside need to go like uh, parents inside need to go like uh, my students okay so anybody can follow in this series so he know everything let's make some zoom outs and just go down and just copy and paste attendance to and just I can put here like a uh, homework okay and also we can change here like a uh, homework so you can find out the new menu here I just refresh the page so you can see it like a new button homework button let's make a action some bigger like we can put like a 600 now and I just go back again refresh the page so is homework going to last one I click on the homework so this is the URL not there so let's create for this URL now so just go to routes inside web and we need to go downs just go to down down okay so for this one like submit homework homework so just copy this line for the student one and just go down and just paste here and here we need to change the our url so our url work like a parents my student homework also student id so just put here like a and also here's the ID so it means a student ID and here I can change like homework parent student parent because it's a student inside a parent okay so just go to like a homework controller otherwise you need to go like app app inside you can go to homework controller and just go down so you can see it like here is a like a student side work so here we can make like a parent side work and here I will create a new function like a homework student parent but we don't want to create just need to go up and we need to copy and just paste here and also we need to replace the function name and here we are getting the like one parameter like a student ID so I just pass here student ID you can see it here like a here's ID is a student ID and also we have pass here like a student ID because here is showing the list about the his his son daughter whatever like his student whatever assigned for his parents okay so just passing here student ID and I can remove this one I don't want to need okay I need class ID so let's get the first user data get user otherwise get student whatever do you want to like you can do it users get single because this is the function I have already done so just I can type get singles and I just pass here like a student ID let's go to user controller user model inside so you can see it here like a get single function I think there yes you can see it 
okay so here i getting the for this student like class id also i getting the, this student for the his id so just i can change here and also i can use like a id so but do you want to use direct this this is the variable name is a student id so also you can use it but i have made like here is a one student id also here whatever data i get on this id i can pass okay so let's go and refresh the page so how it looks show we can see it i just go and refresh the page so uh, any error generated so we can fix out i think generate error because we have not declared the users above so we just need to declare this model user model just copy and paste users models and here we have already done like get record student so you can go so you can see it here okay and with uh, i have made like a pagination also i have made a filtering so you do you want to see so you need to go last video and you can check it easily okay so just go back again refresh the page so same error generate and i just refresh so, okay so here for this student have no any homework because he already submitted let's log in as admin localhost schools.com and i log in as admin i will create a new homework now just go to homeworks and i click on the add new homeworks let me check for this student what is the class so for this class like a part time so part time inside i need to create a new homework like subject whatever i can choose do you want to whatever do you want to like today is a 12 so i can choose like a 12 and submission date 13 document do you want to upload so you can upload and here i can make please check document everything is just testing data so don't worry about that i am not using any time real data so this is the homework is uh, updated i mean uh, suppose you can go to submit the homework so here is a no list okay so let's go back again and refresh the date page inside the homework so you can see it like a new homework found okay but we don't want to need a, this is the action just remove this action but we need to create for this file inside a parent side because I just show here like only students so just we can click parents inside we need to create a new folder like a homework folder and inside we need to create a list.blade.php file so just click on the new folders and after you copy list.blade.php and just go to admin side not admin side just go to student side and you can go to homework inside you need to copy this file and just paste here and you can go back again refresh the page so working very well so i am told you again i am just doing the copy paste work so please carefully watch okay and i just change it like student homework okay and also i can go here i will change student homework search student homework and also i can student homework list okay so everything is clear i don't want to need an action so just remove the action and also i don't want to need like a, this action tab here means a th file so also i removed here is a working pagination and here just we need to send means change the our reset link so just we can copy and just go back again to code and here you can change and also you can change here id so we need to make this id is a dynamic so just go to homework controller we can pass this data get student is equal to dollar get student okay so let's go to back again and i just pass here get student dot id so reset button also working very well okay first i get the data after i get the data about the homework and after we had passed the data means get student i have passed inside a list dot blade dot php okay i save these files i just go back and refresh the page so you can see it like a student homework list and also we can show here like first name and last name so you can see it and also here you can see it reset button also work and search also work and reset person also work so but i can search here like a subject name wise so you can search here like economics home you can search so also works because your data there so i can search like this so not work because this is the data here not there okay so everything is clear now we need to show here like a 
student name so you know what is the student so you can understand okay this is my daughter this is my son whatever do you want to think like this you can do it i just explain just get students and we need to use a span because we need to change his color so you know highlight the color so color is equal to blue and here i can show like a first name and last name about the user tables so user table is a name and also we can show is a last name so just copy and put here last name this is the column already there inside a user table okay so everything is clear now i save this files and i just go back again and refresh the page so you can see it like a student one and let's make a curly bracket so it look like better okay now it's good let's go to back again refresh the page so you can see it here same thing you can go to like a student two so always you can see it here student two you see so student two is ss1 inside is a one homework there you can see it here this reason here showing but this is like submission date is the same one he is now gone i don't know is his dependency also is created by created dates and description okay so everything is clear now and here you can see it like student homework and everything is now clear about this student homework now we need to create another menu homework submitted because we need to show like homework also we need to show like submitted homework because what student submitted homework so student need to means a parent need to know okay my son my daughter like this homework submitted with the homework list need to show this task is done here now we need to do like another task like a homework submitted okay so let's go back again list about the my students and i think i can make it like now proper let's make a 300 okay i just go back again i know is going to downs and i can make like a one ski style margin bottom 10 px because we need to make a proper way i don't want to like like always need to go this the width i can go bigger bigger is look like not better this reason okay so let's save and just go back and refresh the page so how it's look show we can check okay now it look much better attendance homework we need to create a new menu now like a submitted homework so just copy and paste here and also you can change like a variable name submitted so please check the spelling because last time i generated the spelling mistakes okay and here also i can make like submitted homework same thing here we can go and create a new routes so just copy last this one and just change here like a submitted homework to homework to submitted homework now here you can change also like a submitted submitted homeworks okay same thing do to controllers and here you need to create a new files so just go up and copy this line and just put here and also i getting the one id about the student id so just go up and just copy this line and you can put here and also you can get the data about the student so just copy above lines and paste here and here you need to pass over the student id and also this data we need to pass inside a views like a get student so just you can put and just remove the student submitted homework okay so here change and also we need to change like uh, parents my student to parents and we need to change like a homework submitted list so just need to go like a homework instead we need to create a new file submitted list.blade.php sorry i made a spelling mistake so i just change the spelling let.php okay now everything is clear so just same thing you need to go to submitted list and just copy all thing and paste here is i did very quick i think taking like 2 minutes i don't know but like one or two minutes i have done first i have created one routes this routes against i have created a new function like a submitted homework student parents inside i have just copy like above these lines and paste here and after i get the student data and student data i have pass inside views and here we already get the data like get record so you can see it here 
like uh, homework submitted models so here is uh, all the data we are getting with filtering okay so do you want to see how it works so you need to check, check like last video last few video so you can understand how to work homework modules okay so this is the just i am doing copy paste work so i can show you inside a parent side so everything is clear and also i have created now new file inside a parents homework inside we have created new file submitted blade.php so you can see it. and after i go to like student one and i just copy all the files and i paste here and after just we need to change our reset button and also we need to change your name like a student submitted homework also you can change like my to student and also here you can change so do you want to change otherwise do you want to not change this is your dependency student submitted homework list okay here just we need to change the reset list so just go to like a, let's refresh the page i click on the submitted homeworks this is working very well you can see it because last time i was submitted for the student two homework this reason here showing the listing just you need to copy this line and just go to code and put here and here just we can take it out like this id means a value and just go to like get student and we can make it dynamic here so reset button also work dynamic now okay i just go back again refresh the page so you can see it here reset button also work okay here is a class name wise do you want to search so you can search as a class name and do you want to search subject name like subject wise do you want to search so you can search as a subject name suppose i can search like english language so only showing the one record here you can see it so now is a uh, just we need to show like here the name about the students after done everything so just go to list one and just copy this line and paste here okay just paste here because i have already done like a color wise so copy and paste and this is the get student we are already passing inside a views you can see it here okay let me show you this is the function here but you can watch last video so you can easily understand otherwise impossible to understand how how i get the data here okay i save i just go back again refresh the page so here you can see student one suppose i can go to like student two so here you can see it like student two means uh, like uh, his name whatever name there and here is a not submitted any homework for his class is a created not created i don't know so let's go to like homeworks so you can see his side is one homework created but parents side he can check in parents so he's not submitted anything so not showing okay i hope do you have clear so but do you have any questions so please comment out and do you want to like this video so please like and do you want to see like this video more so please subscribe our channel next video i will do like a common homework like every place i can show you like here we can make like count like a three is there here is i can show two here showing the one here showing the zero so parents can understand easily also we can do is the admin side so admin can understand easily okay any student submitted so you know okay here is like one student submitted okay and after we can create like one report for this admin side and teacher side so you can see it like all things same like we did here inside a student side student click on the submitted homework so you can see it like all the list okay so i hope do you have a clear do you do you can't understand anything so please comment out and do you want to like this video so please like and do you want to see like this video more so please subscribe our channel thank you for watching